Now, I didn't watch any of these on camera yet, but this is um, kind of crazy. I saw only a few seconds of one of the videos, and it, it as soon as I saw a few seconds of it, I closed it because immediately I felt that uncomfortable feeling, you know? Delhi 48 in comparison to Local 58, this is not the same thing. Delhi 48 is a racist establishment which discriminates against African Americans based on their appearances solely to be able to determine if they, you know, should allow people to eat there or not. This is not the same thing. Local 48 is some next level shit. 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 Sit. All right? I'm drunk. Forgive me. Nigga. Fuck. Y'all gonna judge me on this one? Let's see what the fuck is the deal here, man. Contingency. Contingent contingency? Three AM end of broadcast day. Okay. Is something wrong with my audio? My audio isn't working the way that should be. This concludes our broadcast day. Hold on, Look. a donate a donation just came through, bro. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this is coming through from slow saying you close karma's video again. Man, what the fuck? He's fucking lit. Wait, hold on. I I'll give it a second. I will. Karma fields, bro. Trust me, man. I, I, I got you. I got you, bro. In fact, let me let me see here. Just to make sure, because I know you want to see it. He says, bro, get your shit right. My card is far from being filled. Let me let me go ahead and turn to your next video. Here we go. Bam. Karma Fields, right? This is your video, right? Karma Fields live from the hex. All right. So I'm going to leave this open over here right now. And I'm going to go back to what the hell we were watching just now, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pervert comments. Whatever, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Let's continue it, all right? Go ahead, nigga. What is this shit? Wait, hold on. Let's go back. I know this has to be fake. I mean, it's like a college student thing, but... Department of... Whatever. Contingency message real. Locator. To be used only in the event of United States complete surrender to insurmountable enemy forces. Public broadcast only upon confirmed condition. 12 Omaha solemn certainty. This is like a... To be used only in the event of United States complete surrender to insurmountable forces. Enemy forces. This is a retreat video. This is a retreat video. Con let me see here. Contingency message will now begin. The thing that makes me feel crazy about this is it looks so real. It's like a video taken straight from like the 40s or the 50s. Maybe not the 40s, but like the 60s, the 50s. Contingency message will now begin. Please comply with the following instructions. God bless America. Makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Wait, American citizens, Conoscope broadcast date here, month, day, year. The worst has come to pass. Despite the, the sacrifices of our citizens and the might of our armed forces, the United States have been forced to surrender to our enemy. Though they may occupy our borders, our streets, and our homes, the enemy will never occupy our spirit. That is why all Americans are now called upon to act, to preserve the American memory of the United States clear and bright and uncompromised. I know that I already taken action in the company of family and friends. Now all Americans, every man, woman, and child are called to act. Let our united resolve echo through history. Even in defeat, we have refused to yield. Even in defeat. What? Even in defeat, we claim victory. Honor liberty by taking the final and greatest liberty of all. It's a privilege to be called to action. You take America with you. Use the method most available to you at this time. Your courage will inspire others. There's nothing to fear. Like a, it's like a, a surrender video? 
United States Department for the what? United States Department for the what? United States Department for the Preservation of American Dignity. Access to what? Place muzzle. Wait, access to a loaded firearm is ideal. Place muzzle, hole of gun, upward to roof of mouth. Thank you. Face, face up, feet together, nigga. What? Face, face up, feet together. Remember the three F's, front lawn. Regarding your children? to them before yourself use a calm tone of voice everyone can yes. the st what, what did that say the 51st state is not a oh oh i know this can't be real bro Apologize for the interruption. Yeah, I bet. Earlier today, the station aired what appeared to be a warning message from a U.S. government agency. It's confirmed as a hoax. Local 58 apologizes for any confusion. What? Any confusion that may have resulted. Yeah. Yo. This was crazy. What the fuck? Subscribe to Local 50. Oh, man. Oh, sh shit. I'll subscribe. I'll definitely, I'll subscribe and I'll like this. That was nuts. Whoa. All right, so. If this video was real, it would be basically the government promoting that rather than being overtaken by Russia or China, we all kill ourselves in unison in an exact pose, which will showcase a message that no matter if it's in life or death, the United States government and its citizens will go out on the same playing field, united with freedom to make our own choices, even if it involves suicide. Fuck. Whole, when was this book? October 31st, 2017. This is new. You were staring. Huh? Pervert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, Mythos says, uh, hold on. Hammer came back new saying it's Friday here in Australia. Hopefully, wait a minute, what this nigga said? Hopefully, wait, I, I, I can't read it. This is a little bit confusing. These things aren't catched up, caught up. He says, it's Friday here in Australia, and hopefully I can get as drunk as I was last weekend. Have an excellent thirsty Thursday, my man. Wow. Hold on a second, Hammer. Before I open up your tweet, this was fucking nuts. I mean, pervert, meme, all aside, bro, this... This kind of was a little crazy. I mean, I thank God it was fake. Because if something like that actually was held in reserve, I mean, the thing that makes it crazy is that it's not too beyond the spectrum of reality for that kind of a thing to be real. I mean, as much as you know, what if we truly, like, I live in the United States, I'm an American citizen in New York City, right? What if the day truly came where we were invaded by a foreign nation, by Russia or China, like I mentioned, or even who knows, North Korea, 
damn, bro. You know what? I'll be real with you. Being on the internet, it makes it feel as if every political issue that happens in regards to a country potentially overtaking ours is like a joke. And it's like, hey, that won't ever happen. We're able to defend ourselves. If the day actually came where, oh my God, Korean soldiers are on American shores in New York City, Manhattan, pulling up, killing citizens, moving in, taking territory, and they were right there at Brooklyn, holy, f I don't know what I would do, bro. I, it's crazy to think about. It feels as if we're in an American, or rather, uh, an earth age where invasions of random countries for the purpose of expanding territory and personal gain is beyond us where it's like you know no that that's like we're beyond that we don't feel the need to take territory from other countries because they're established and we have business propositions holding us in place and there's so many benefits to us working together rather than us being against each other the last time that we truly saw a nation hell bent on capturing territory is adolf hitler what if one day russia or china decided you know what we're capturing manhattan up to boston and we're going to take that whole territory for ourselves which is a mindset that many rulers and territories had in prior times on earth what if that actually happens in the modern time and you you have foreign soldiers pulling up to our shores killing our men you know, taking advantage of our women, murdering our children. I, 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 it, it's, it, um, that happens now, bro. It happens now. There are smaller countries and territories which have this injustice thrusted upon them and they can't do anything. And thankfully the UN is able to at least, you know, contribute to an extent, but it's like, man, I can't imagine the day that New York gets invaded, bro. Oh man. Listen, I don't care. If they tell me that a foreign force is out there taking territory from the United States, I'm not going out like a bitch. I'm not going out like a fucking bitch. If I'm going to be killed, bro, if I have to die for my country, thanks to us being invaded by somebody due to Trump's dumbass laws, and there's a soldier here willing to kill my black ass, if that soldier is so willing to kill me, for the sole benefit of his country as a whole, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not letting him have that win easily. All right, boy? I'm going out there ready to fight. I'm swinging a hatchet. I'm firing a pistol. I'm doing whatever I need to to ensure, not for my country, fuck my country. I'm doing this for my own survival, for the survival of me. And who knows, if that ever does happen, maybe it'll be for the survival of my family. I don't know. But... I'm, I'm not going out like a bitch. And hopefully, I don't care who the hell ever invades your soil as a citizen of your country, whether you live in, in Russia, whether you live in China or North Korea and you're watching me right now, defend your fucking stance. Who cares about your country? Defend yourself. Make sure you have the proper precautions in place to be able to effectively give a fight in case anything fucked up like that ever happens. So that way, when the day comes and your time is here and your creator calls upon you, you're able to say, you know what? I gave a fight. I didn't go out like a fucking punk. I defended what's most important to me and I gave my life for it. That's fucking important right there. Honestly, as drunk as I am, I'm super drunk right now, but you know what? A drunk man's words is a sober man's thoughts. I'm telling you right now, that's the way I would go out. I'm not going out like a fucking bitch. I'm not going out sniveling or crying in a fucking corner, cowering, waiting for my creator to meet me no i'm going out like a fucking like a chick i don't care if i have to rush in man I, i'm i'm i don't care